Red Bank Village, a Mayan community in South Stan Creek with approximately 2,500 residents, is facing what appears to be a land distribution dilemma. At the heart of that issue is Village Chairman William Salam, who many, including Vice Chairman Pablo Akal, are accusing of acting autonomously where land distribution is concerned. I want to be honest that I don't know what is happening at the moment. The chairman has singled me out for whatever reason, maybe because of this situation here. But I do believe that transparency is what we want. And I believe that if we get this documentation, we can move as a citizen, we can move as a villager. But if we have a chairman who don't listen to us, listen to our concern, then that is telling me he don't want to work with us. And I do believe as well that if we work together, I know for sure that Red Bank people will be happy and we deserve these concerns to be listened to. According to Juliana Ogaldez, whose sibling has reportedly made several attempts at securing a parcel, the village leader refused to grant her permission. And when she cleared a lot to build on, she was threatened with legal action. My sister um, went to the chairman and asked for a house lot. She went so many times to the chairman and the chairman didn't give her at least what a piece of lot. What my sister do, she went and cleaned the yard that no one is cleaning and then she started to build her house there. What the chairman did, he went to the he went and talked to my sister. He said that he is going to bring police for my sister and take her out from there. And she burn and grow here. She's a Belizean. It seems, however, that there is also a fracture within the Red Bank Village Council. And that splintering became apparent over the weekend when Salam's deputy came out against him. A lot have been distributed. I don't know whatever how it is being distributed. I was not even called for a meeting. I don't know why. But as the vice chairman, I believe that I should know because people are behind me and people believe in me. And if the vice chairman don't know anything, that is unjust. And one man cannot run our village. Do you believe in that? Yes. 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 And for us to move forward, we need to work together. Other members as well told me the same scenario. They don't know what is happening. Only one man is running the village. And that's unfair for us. Because right now we don't know how the lot have been distributed. And we need to review these lists. And for us to review the list, we need to come on the table and let's see how this happened. William Salam was elected chairman of Red Bank in 2019. Upon assuming office, a land distribution project involving UDP standard bearer and former Labour Commissioner Ivan Williams was introduced to the community. We had a, a, a meeting with our villagers in October, sometime in October of last year where we introduced um, a project with house lots, right? And we even had the um, caretaker for this area come down and meet with the people and tell the people the specific of the, um, that project, right? Mm -hmm. So um, we gave them the um, details of how it will um, involve, which means that it would involve them paying, right? And um, after that, the standard bear, um Pledge that he would work on getting the lease papers for them, right? And so from there on, we collected names, right, of those who would be interested in the lot, right? So we sat down as a council, we went back to the people, we contacted them, all right, listen, if you are really interested in a lot, then we are willing to help out. But the standard bearer mentioned to the people that he is not a minister yet, so all he can do is help with the lease papers, right? and he could not pay for the, the, the um, last project. The charge against Salam by his colleague is that he has not been forthcoming with his constituents. The chairman needs to work better than that, and he needs to come and face his people. All of that we must demand of. It's not difficult to do. He needs to be humble. As a leader for me, we want to see our leaders to give us correct information. We are tired. And any future leader who wants to come up, they must think twice to run our village because there is one way how we can correct our leaders. Reporting for News 5, I am Asana Kayatano.